Okay, thank you guys for coming to today's program, Drink and Draw with a Librarian. Some of you have been coming to this program, but if you're new, this is an opportunity for artists to get together and work on some projects or maybe start something new and just hang out with some other artists in the community. Um, so you can help yourselves to coffee or tea. And if you have any questions, just ask me. But in the meantime, just have fun and make some artwork. So thank you. to the program today. Um, so if you don't mind telling us a little bit about why you came to our program today, we'd love to get some feedback from you. Um, well, so I'm an artist, so I, mm -hmm. I work full time on my work, but I freelance, so I work from home. So I spend a lot of time just by myself, mm -hmm. not seeing anyone. So um, it's nice to have an opportunity to come out and work on my project um, mm -hmm. around other people, meet new people, get a change of environment. Oh, good, I'm glad the <laughs> library is a good place for you to come to do that. Um, so do you feel like the library is a good resource for you to come as an artist to help support creativity? Yeah, I definitely, I use it a lot, either just as an environment to come and uh, work in to have a change mm -hmm. of pace, mm -hmm. or um, if I need to meet with others. Um, and I also, all the time, books and magazines um, usually able to get anything that I need so mm -hmm. it's it's been a really great resource. Oh good yeah it sounds like there's a lot of inspiration here for you so yeah, I'm glad. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about what you brought to work on uh, at the program? Um, so I've been working um, on a sketchbook project um, where I've been exploring kind of a new process for working. Mm -hmm. So I brought this with me today. That's great. And this is the page I did today. Oh, wow, wonderful. I really like that a lot. So, great. Well, thank you so much for coming and for telling us a little bit more about yourself. And I hope to see you at the next program. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my program today, Drink and Draw with a Librarian. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Okay. Um, so as you know, uh, it's a program that uh, presents an opportunity for artists mm -hmm. in the community to get together and uh, you know, spend some time in the library for an hour, and just work on some projects, um, network with other artists, mm -hmm. uh, share advice, tips, techniques, that kind of thing, um, and also get some resources from the library. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what you brought to work on today and Absol the technology that you use. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for asking. Mm. Um, <laughs> currently today, I'm actually working on an illustration that is part of a series of these tribal animals that I'm working on. 
It's all about taking different heritages and different architectures and different styles from around the world and kind mm -hmm. of bringing them in. I'm using a more Germanic and Baroque-esque style currently for this boar design. And it's this whole series just really taking this play of all these natural designs and patterns that can take into animals. Mm -hmm. And I've been working digitally, I should say, for about, mm, good over about five years now. And I'm currently working on an iPad Pro. Mm -hmm. um, I just find that it's very easy to go ahead and incorporate my traditional sketches and my traditional pieces and just scan them straight in and send them into here. It's something I can take with me and travel with me. Mm -hmm. And so it just kind of allows me to really work on, on the go. That's great. So for people who are a little less familiar with working digitally, um, mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about your process of drawing using a tablet rather than on traditional paper and pen? Absolutely. Um, really, honestly, there isn't a lot of a difference to me. It's really just a matter of just selecting the paper size for the file, selecting the tool that I want to use. I mean, the technology nowadays that we have, it really incorporates and allows us to mimic any traditional medium that we have out there. Maybe not always up to par with what we're gonna have physically, but there's always gonna be something special about physical traditional mediums. Mm -hmm. But with myself, I like to use a lot of different digital watercolor techniques and a lot of digital inking mm -hmm. techniques in here that really with the sensitivity that I have with the pen, it's no different than working traditionally at all. Yeah, that's great. Um, so could you tell me a little bit about your experience with the library and why this is a good uh, environment for you to work as an artist? Absolutely. Um, libraries, <laughs> they're sanctions, they're special, they're sacred, they're free environments for people to go to and just to dive right into resources that are readily available in their community. There's so many artists and so many things out there that are readily available that we don't take advantage of. And in libraries, I've gone around, and especially in Harford County, there's so many different branches, and each mm -hmm. one's unique, and each one has different books and references that I can find. So I love getting lost in them. I love telling people, go down to your local libraries, meet mm -hmm. the artists and people that are working around here, mm -hmm. because they're going in here, they're looking to discuss and to have a community. And libraries, they're a large community center that offers a mm -hmm. lot of creativity. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you again so much for coming to my program today, and I hope to see you at more like it. Absolutely. Thank you for having me once again it was an absolute pleasure Yay, thank you you're welcome and so thank you for coming to the program today um, it was really wonderful that you brought your family with you yeah. to um, work on artwork um, do you want to tell me a little bit about how creativity is important to your family well um, uh, my son is homeschooled so mm -hmm. Um, the opportunity to come to the library to have a specific time set aside for art mm -hmm. is an amazing uh, opportunity for us. Um, as I was telling you a little bit a bit ago, um, I, both my wife and I loved art in school mm -hmm. and we just haven't really had time to um, pursue art or, or do anything creative mm -hmm. recently. Mm -hmm. And so the opportunity to come to the library today to be able to sketch and draw and, and just be creative was, um, was great. Good. That's wonderful. I'm really glad that that was a good opportunity for all of you to come and do that together as a family, too, especially. Um, so you mentioned that your son's homeschool. Is yes. the library a place where you come often we, to use our resources? We come to the library often. We um, get books from mm -hmm. the drive through to the point that <laughs> I'm sitting at the drive through for you know minutes getting books in yeah. from from the, uh, the order that we placed. So, um, And then coming to the library, we've come to Lego night, we've come to, goodness, I can't remember all the other things that we've, we've done here. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's just been a, a blessing for me to be able to come and, and just spend time. Um, my, my son is, tends to be a bit shy, mm -hmm. and the opportunity to come to the library and either interact or not interact with people is, is great for him, mm -hmm. um, to the point that uh, you know, we've come in and people, people are, know his name and are able mm -hmm. to greet him and, and and help him with whatever he needs. That's good, yeah, it's really wonderful that we're able to provide these services for you. We love to do it, so. Um, do you wanna tell us a little bit about what you worked uh, on today? I had no idea what I was doing <laughs> when I came in. I, I showed up, my wife handed me a pad of paper, and and I uh, I used to do uh, a lot of perspective and, and landscapes mm -hmm. when I was in school, so I figured I'd go back to that. So I just did a, a lake scene with um, some perspective with the dock. Yeah, so that's wonderful. Nothing, nothing super special, just 
little doodling, I guess. Yeah, that's good, yeah. And um, I'm really happy that this is an opportunity not just for artists who are currently making art on a regular basis, but also for people who have been wanting to maybe get back into making art and things that they still love. So. Yeah, we appreciate the opportunity. Um, hoping to come back again next month yeah, and um, nice bring some more stuff. My, uh, Like I said, my son, does. he's a, a very good artist. He, mm -hmm. um, He's doing a lot of copying of, of, of Pokemon and stuff like that that he really That's enjoys. Cool. But mm -hmm. like I was telling you earlier, he, he has these amazing stories in his head and mm -hmm. to be able to get him to put what he envisions in his mind mm -hmm. on paper is, mm -hmm. is, a, is yeah. what we're looking for. Well, that's great. Well, hopefully yeah. he can continue to be inspired as he comes into the library and we can help you out with whatever you need. So, okay. Well, thank you again great. for thank coming you. today and chatting with me about your work. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>
that takes on many forms and we're very proud to be a part of Hartford County and I encourage everyone to check out our website at hcplonline.org for all of the wonderful programs at our 11 branches. But thanks a lot for today. It was a great time. You're welcome. Thank you.